Di usia ke-16, Gabriel menjalani apa yang dicita-citakannya, merancang dan membuat aneka kalung, anting, dan gelang. Remaja ini adalah pendiri perusahaan aksesoris Jewels of Jordan. Well, I started uh, Jewels of Jordan when I was 9 years old. But I have been doing jewelry since I was seven. I taught myself on YouTube because I just there was just something about it that really attracted me. Awalnya Gabriel hanya menjual hasil karyanya ke teman dan keluarga. Namun segera ia melebarkan sayap dengan menjual aksesoris bertatahkan batu mulia, kristal dan mutiara budidaya ke aneka seminar, konferensi, peragaan busana, butik dan online. My target client is the modern, uh, I guess, business owner, professional woman. Uh, one of the biggest things we say is that it's like we make the jewelry from the boardroom to the ballroom. Bisnis perhiasan merupakan landasan bagi Gabriel untuk melakukan kecintaan lainnya, yaitu menginspirasi para remaja. Ia menuangkan pengalamannya berbisnis dalam buku The Making of a Young Entrepreneur. When I was 11 years old, I decided to self-publish the book. So that I could still reach young people and still have this for them to read and hopefully be inspired to start businesses themselves. And I know fear will come. And when it comes, I don't want you to ask yourself, what if I fail? I want you to ask yourself, what if I Succeed. Buku tersebut mengantarnya menjadi pembicara motivasi. Gabriel diundang ke berbagai konferensi oleh aneka organisasi pemuda dan sekolah di seluruh penjuru Amerika dan luar negeri. Bagi remaja yang menjalani sekolah rumah ini, yang terpenting adalah disiplin. I wake up at 5 in the morning so that I can get my schoolwork done, eat breakfast, and then go into making jewelry, preparing speeches, whatever it is that needs to be done for the rest of the day. And that's really how I um, have that balance, is about that sacrifice and discipline. Gabriel juga yakin bahwa jiwa filantropi merupakan elemen yang tidak boleh ditinggalkan. Setiap akhir tahun ia menyumbangkan sebagian keuntungan untuk lembaga amal favoritnya. It's just humbling to be able to see what other people have to go through and to see how blessed I am to be where I am in my life and to be able to have done the things that I'm doing and hopefully to do even more. Ia berencana akan mulai merancang perhiasan untuk selebriti dan ingin meluncurkan buku berikutnya tahun depan. Dari Bowie, Maryland, tim VOA.